And now, ladies and gentlemen, in view of the very special occasion for the two wrestlers involved, we're going to ask you if you would be upstanding just for a moment or two for the national anthem. and the belt which accompanies that title. The match is made over 12 rounds of three minutes each with two falls or two submissions or a knockout to decide the result of the contest. Now, ladies and gentlemen, on my left in the red corner, I introduce to you the former champion and tonight's challenger, Jim Briggs. And ladies and gentlemen, in the blue corner on my right, his opponent, the defending champion, strongman Alan Dennison. And ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Max Ward. Good afternoon to you, and here for this very special British Worldweight title match, Jim Brakes versus Alan Dennison. A, a rematch to the one that Dennison won at the Wembley Arena in June. A 90-day rematch in the contract, of course, and Jim Brakes gets his chance here this afternoon to get his own back on Alan Dennison of taking that title off him. Twelve three-minute rounds will decide this one. Two falls to decide. Easily identifiable as always, Dennison in his usual white strip, leotard. From Denholm, Jim Brakes from Bradford. Referee Max Ward of Birmingham in charge of this one. And already there's a little, bit, a little argument about that uh, belt. Jim Brakes, who wanted to see it as uh, Alan Dennison took it, took it off his waist and uh, threw it threw it straight outside the ring. So that started Dennison off and he almost began before the bell. So breaks all this time in the head scissors. with such powerful legs as well as arms. Rather to hold breaks there for as long as he wants to. Breaks will be glad to get out of this one. Those years, those cauliflower years of his, uh, are gonna feel this. Just a minute to go. 
And it's going round one of 12. And practically the whole round, Dennis has had this head scissors on brace. His own peculiar style of head scissors. The feet are crossed in front of the face, which is pretty unusual. And finally breaks out, and he's pretty mad about that. Brakes trying to. <laughs> the sound check, but it doesn't work quite so long with Brakes. Just about 12 seconds to go in round one now of 12 three minute rounds. And hardly time for them to restart this. Brakes just about goes for an arm lever. We won't do him any good at all. Brakes accidentally catches. Uh, his instep, Dennis's hey, face as he walks over in there. Max Ward trying to control it, but it's not going to be easy between these two. There's no question about that. There's Alan Dennison, the holder of the British World Weight Championship. Yeah. Round two and no score in this 12-round contest here at the Lewisham Concert Hall, Catford for this uh, British Wolderweight title match. Alan Dennison, the holder, versus Jim Brakes. The challenger breaks on the right in the striped trunks. Max Ward, the referee. Side headlock to Dennison. Dennison in his usual wrist bands, which won't be too popular if he uses them wrong. right through the ropes and finally forced to break the hold on the third time of asking. It's a powerful arm to deal with that. Brakes doing all right at the moment, trying to get his man back to canvas. Gets it there, but the shoulder blades are nowhere near the canvas. Ahead taking the full Wrestler's bridge. That neck really okay. powerful too. There's an accidental butt with a knee. Breaks up to every trick in the book. Trying to weaken his opponent, legally or legally, unfortunately. Headlock and strangle now breaks. Good way of getting the head scissors on again. He completed that move just before Max Ward is going to walk in and, and break him up. One minute to go, and the same move as uh, Briggs was in in the first round for so long. Now, can he get out of it this time? Again, over two and a half minutes in the first round, and finally he gets a leg on the bottom rope, causing the break. But there's only 15 seconds left. Back hammer to breaks, and it's too late in this round. Breaks a little bit unhappy with the bell going at that precise moment, just as he was getting um, into the swim there, yeah, having a fairly good hold of this man, getting reminded by the referee not to do the trip over the opponent's face as he walks away from the end of the run. 
So Adam Dennison who received those two little kicks on the face as Brakes walked over him, coming in a little angry now. But Brakes gets in there first with the toe and ankle. At the start of round three, and the crowd here at the Lewisham Concert Hall in Catford really warming to this British title bout. Well to wait, bracket. That's up to uh, Livingstone, 11. And remember the last time, I think it was on television, that they, they, they met these two. A good, it was going to be for the title, but uh, Alan Dennison couldn't make the weight. But he's made it this afternoon. But only just. Breaks, of course, well under at about 11.7. In fact, he's only just over the 11.7 mark. Under two minutes to go now in round three, and still Dennison holding under that curious stranglehold of his, almost a pull on grab it, and it's a, a strangle and uh, headlock to Breaks now. This is what he had on at the end of the last round when he didn't like the bell going. his balance for a moment. Is there a second chance or has he? There he's finally made. Breaks right. going on that left arm all the time. Just a minute to go and breaks attacking with that left arm lever, right hand on the head to prevent the turn. Brakes can have a breather while this is on, of course, as long as he doesn't allow that uh, right arm of Dennison to come around and do any damage to him. He's trying to get those shoulder blades down without using the top rope. He's balancing himself there. He'll never make it. Not in a million years. <laughs> Not with that Dennison right arm. Very, very powerful man indeed. Right on the bell, round three. Bring it up. Dennis not very happy about that. Never try to do anything you can't. Just okay. It was across the um, windpipe, I think, and that's why he didn't like it. And I should think he's got plenty of strength in hand, this man. Certainly a little bit of weight, but a lot of strength. So, fourth round coming up, and still no sign of any score up to now. Seconds out, round four. Nine rounds to go with the start of round four. Dennison in the white leotard versus Jim Brakes. Dennison, the holder of the welterweight title of Great Britain. Jim Brakes, the former holder and the challenger of that. Stuck himself going all the way by grabbing the middle rope there. Landed a little awkwardly on the apron. Going in for a very loose, distant referee's hold there, but Brakes gets the headlock. the Dennison counter here, trying to reach those hands together if he can. No, he couldn't. Didn't need to, he's got the double arm anyway. All the way over for a shoulder cross if he can, Dennison. Nearly there. There it is. Now, can he hold that for three? No, not even for two. 
Okay, then. Dennis and Forster oh, oh, had to give up there. Okay. <laughs> he won't like those slaps at all, Dennis. Didn't follow it up for some reason. Yeah. Right? Maybe you will this time. Yeah. Says, Go ahead, do it again. Doesn't worry me. Yeah. <laughs> 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 A minute to go now. Round four. Remember, there are only three minute rounds. There are title bouts. Twelve three minute rounds. And the crowd here at the Lewisham Concert Hall really almost 100% behind Alan Dennison. A tremendous reception when he came into the ring. Breaks his usual booze. 30 seconds to go. And the double arm again, the Dennison. Trying again to go over the top. And Breaks neatly walks towards the bottom rope. Stands on it. And if he needed the break, he would have got it. But he, I don't think he's going to need it. In fact, he's uh, yes, he's forced to take it, forced to take it, and quite rightly too. Right on the bell now, round four. Well, Dennison walking backwards as that slap came, which got him off his balance. He certainly wasn't expecting that. Dennis a little angry. Breaks getting warned. Slapping on the face is not part of the wrestling business, says Max Ward, the referee. But still no score. Start of round five. Set us out. Round five. Eight rounds to go. No score. Dennison versus Brakes. Dennison, the welterweight champion of Great Britain. Jim Brakes. On the left there in the striped trunks, the challenger. He's held that title himself for quite a time, of course, until Dennison took it off him. Now he wants it back very, very fast. Well, today is his chance. Do you want to play the slapping game? OK, says Dennison. <laughs> he started it. And he's getting it back. That was inside of the forearm, that last one. Jim breaks and testing that mouth as he always does. He tries to get the referee to look at his mouth to see if it's bleeding. Actually, he has got four stitches in that top lip that he got from Johnny Saint only a week or two ago in the ring. So maybe that's worrying him more than usual is checking the his touches are still there. Just because you've got one you don't have to act like one. Oh we got a razor. Come on. Well now he's got a uh, little bit of uh, leisure time again as he holds Come that on, Dennison. Uh, Dennison in the left arm and a lever. The eight champion down And Dennison trying to get that neck working to get. Yes, it's off the broom, off the deck. That is nowhere near the road. And a minute to go in round five, and Jim Bray starts to argue with the referee again that uh, it wasn't necessary to break them as he was nowhere near the ropes. In fact, his head was right underneath the bottom rope. Spread now, breaks from the first hands. <laughs> the little finger, it's the trouble there. 
certainly got a battering, but I don't think it's broken. Ten seconds. Side headlock to breaks, getting the left treatment, but again, right on the bell. And that sharp little punch took Alan Dennison again off his balance as he leant back, hearing the bell. He wants to stop when he hears the bell, as he, of course, they should do. Brakes not so keen on stopping quite so quickly. This gets that last punch in. Round six coming up any second now. Seconds out, round six. Round six. Seven to go. Dennison from Denholm breaks Bradford. Dennison, the holder of the welterweight crown at the moment. Breaks the challenger who wants it back. Breaks in these striped trunks. And this had to happen, of course, not necessarily on television, because it wasn't on television in the Wembley Arena in June, where Jim Brakes lost his title to Alan Dennison. But the return bout, within 90 days, here this afternoon, fortunately is. But still no score after five rounds. Dennis, the, the powerful of the two men. Brakes doing at least as well as uh, his opponent when they're on the deck. Oy! Really taking a battering at Dennis is there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so a little dazed now, Dennis, now to that uh, nose battering. But I think he was liable to uh, try the same trick on his opponent after that. No, it's still great going for the nose. And Dennis is angry now. Got exactly the right spot of the neck here, and Brakes forced to go down. Now he's going to get a nose battering too. Okay. Brakes again checking that cut on his lip. Four Nelson Dennison. Fifteen seconds to go. Dennis will able to hold this until the bell, I should think. Again, breaks cannot resist that last second slap as the two break at the end of the halfway mark in this 12-round contest. Alan Dennison. The holder looks at the moment as though he's going to hold it, that uh, title for quite a bit longer yet. And I don't think it's the Jim Brakes that gets it off him here today. Too powerful, this man. You Halfway through the bout, six rounds to go, and still no score. Alan Dennison, the holder in the white gear, versus Jim Brakes. Quite illegally. It's 
the Denison left arm, which breaks damage once before, you remember. Grapple fans will have probably seen a few weeks ago when Denison's left arm looked as though he was going to let him down, but he went on to win despite it. But that wasn't a title bout. Breaks follow this up. Yes, he will. He really turned that wrist then. All the way in. And Dennison in the same trouble as before. Each time the referee turns round. Ladies and gentlemen, aye, aye. in round seven, the referee issues his first public warning to Pie Baby Jim Brakes. Public warning to Brakes, but in the meantime, what Brakes was doing behind the referee's back was throwing Alan Dennison by that left arm, that injured left arm, out of the ring. And he's going for it again. And a Brakes special. This could be the first submission to Brakes. Dennison trying hard not to give here, but he's got the feet right, fortunately. He took some of the weight off. And it's a double left, beautiful left there, but a double arm from Dennison. Left arm or no left arm, he gets the first submission in round seven. So, ladies and gentlemen, in the seventh round, the first fall of the contest by submission to the champion, Alan Dennison. And that's what the crowd thinks of that. Breaks kneeling down at the far ropes there. In fact, going all the way face down it. It's worried. Seconds out. Round eight. Round eight. And Dennison can hardly wait to go. But Brakes doesn't want to know. At the moment, staying on his knees, he'll get counted. and follows it up with a double arm and the same move again, but his arm left him down that time and breaks managed to fall on the ropes. Oops. <laughs> He's got one public warning against him already in that round seven. Again, breaks, of course, going for that Denison left arm in the lever. Couple of minutes to go, round, round eight. Again, breaks trying to turn his man back to canvas. Shoulder blades down this time. Can breaks get an equalizer and come back into this? Landed well from it. So it's a full Nelson by Jim Brakes this time, but it's soon reversed. And it's again the same move that Tennyson got that first submission with in round seven. That Brakes, feeling it on its way, and moves very quickly indeed to the ropes and gets the break. And that time, Tennyson didn't release when not told.
And a minute to go in round eight, and Brakes going for that submission again, that uh, favorite arm submission there is known as the Brakes Special. <laughs> now, can you do it again? This is what Dennison did last time. And this time, Brakes not allowed near the ropes. But he's got there. Uh, from that back elbow, which is on the ropes anyway, therefore illegal, followed by a couple of punches, which are illegal whether they're on the ropes or not. Less than 30 seconds now, round eight. Just 10 seconds to go, round eight. And Brakes trying his utmost by the submission, his special submission, to get back into this bout. But not this time. So, Jimmy Brakes, a bit worried now. He's got one submission against him and one public warning against him, too. Second, trying to give him a little bit of tuning up there, but. We'll need more than that against this powerful Denison, I think. Round nine coming up. Seconds out. Round nine. Now, can Denison finish this off 2 to nil, or will Brakes come back into this soon and will go for the winner in the last two or three rounds? Tried to change to his left foot, but uh, Brakes saw it coming and moved fast. <laughs> Nicely over the top, folding press to Brakes. Can he hold that? No. Dennison gets both shoulder blades off. near the clinch first, but the referee was right there. Brakes had every opportunity going for that left arm. Dennison not wanting to come off the ropes, back to him, goes over the top. Well, now, that may or may not have done him some good. If he landed on that side, it certainly won't. A minute left, round nine. And again, the break special. And we'll try and lift his man at the same time if he can. Half a minute. Oh. Well, he left that other arm too near then. And the tables could be turned here. But Dennison's going to have to hurry up. He's got about five seconds to go. Too late now. As Dennison clear out of the ring again from that remove after the bell went. As so often breaks tries it. Meantime, Dennison's lying on the deck outside the ring here, and his seconds with him. Me! 
seconds out. Round 10. Well, here we got to go for round 10 with three rounds to go, regardless of whether Dennison's ready or not. And even the, amps, even the referee now trying to help Dennison's arm back into place, but breaks not being quite so helpful. And that really is a swift backhammer, which shouldn't have done him any good at all. And at least the referee was right there to stop Brakes following it up that time. Gets a warning, but no public warning. Still only one public warning to Brakes in round seven. The same round as the submission to Dennison. That was an attempt to drop that Dennison left arm on the top rope, of course, and I think it more or less is seen. Brakes not thinking of anything at all except that Dennison left arm now. He's not gone for anything else since the, the arm obviously started to cause him trouble. Now, can he follow up with a Brakes special submission now? If he can, he surely must be back into this part. He's trying. Dennison just brings the right hand into operation and goes for the breaks left arm. And he gets a double there. He's got a double arm there, and that's what he got the submission with in round seven. He's trying it again. Breaks knows it and goes for the ropes. One minute to go. Round ten. All chops. Another fist there. Only chops, and there's the power of Dennison. Well, that is, uh, I think I think that he was a bit lucky to get away with that. And that could have separated the fingers, breaks on that top rope. So gets, Dennison gets a warning. Just five seconds to go. And Dennison following up this time after the bell, but only because he thought it was about his turn, I think. Alan Dennison from Denholm, who used to run a pub in Denholm, actually, now he's given that up. One up in submissions at the moment. Can he hold it? Seconds out, round 11. Two rounds to go as we go into round 11. There's still Dennison in the white gear there, leading Jim Brakes by one submission to nil. One public warning against Brakes. And spending a lot of time on the canvas simply because of that left arm trouble. And Brakes trying to make it worse by cutting in the top rope on the throw and the follow up in the back in that position. And accidentally knocking him over in the back in that position again. <laughs> but this time, not in the right hand position. <laughs> and the break special. Yes. Uh, and it's going to be, yes, he's submitted. There it is, Dennison's submission. 
had to, and he's been left hanging on that top rope with his arm. In just one minute, nine seconds of round 11, the equalizing submission to Jim Brakes. One each with one round to go. And one public warning only still against Brakes. MC John Harris. Ladies and gentlemen, in the 11th round, an equalizer, also a submission to the challenger, Jim Brakes. Well, at least now Jim Briggs has got a hope of that belt coming back his way at the end of this bout. The next three-minute round will tell us which will start any second. Set is out, 12 and final round. One submission fall each, remember. One public warning against Briggs in the striped gear. confidence now back in breaks so comes tearing forward and there's that left arm is grabbed again and he's going for the same submission if he does this he's got the belt back if he gets the submission this time Dennis not so likely to submit um, on a winning submission as he is at equalizing one of course he had to let the last one go to equalize let uh, his opponent equalize, but I don't think he'll let the, the winning one go. So, and that's his position for the winner. The double arm from inside, beauty there. And can he get the left? Two minutes he's got. But he can't seem to get the left in. The left arm is not uh, behaving too well for him. And Briggs grabbing the leotard as well to try and hold himself down at canvas level. And succeeding. Still grabbing the leotard with both hands, Briggs, behind him there. Dennison, even with his power, lift him up with one good arm while Briggs is grabbing that leotard of his. Now, positions reversed. Briggs' left arm in trouble now. Backhammer going for the double and gets the double arm again. The left, one minute to go. Now, can Dennison do this and keep his man away from the ropes? Max Ward that uh, he was grabbing his uh, leotard, but I'm sure yeah. Max Ward knows that. 30 seconds left in the bout now. Yeah. Well, this could be, uh, not far enough. I hadn't got it right at all. On 15 seconds to go. In fact, a little less, 12 seconds. Eight seconds now, the right time. You have to really move. It looks awfully like it's going to be a one each draw. And it is a one submission for each draw, which means, of course, that Jim Brakes, having got back into the bout there, uh, making it a draw, will immediately be under the promoters for another chance at this title. Whether he'll get it or not, of course, we don't know, but Dennis, in the meantime, of course, will still hold the belt. Well, ladies and gentlemen, at the end of the final round of wrestling, each man having just the one... It was out, it was out for ten! Each man having scored just the once, the result of the contest is a draw. And ladies and gentlemen, as is always the way, in a championship contest, should it result in a draw, the title and the belt stay with the defending champion. Grace doesn't like it, but that's the law. Oh, already 
trouble. And uh, Dennis is coming back at that. Well, we've had 12 rounds, but it's not enough for these two. Great start of it. Dennison coming straight back at him at the throat, too. All John Harris is trying to do is present a bouquet to Dennison for holding out of the belt. I am the winner! So, ladies and gentlemen, still the champion, strongman Alan Dennison. Cheers for Alan Dennison. And your appreciation for the loser, Jim Brooks. There are a few more boos for Jim Brooks. More appreciation for me, Walton. As far as I'm concerned, I know they were the over and the winner. Dennison's just been knocked out. He could have counted him out twice. Well, maybe you I heard that at home. Ever. I couldn't hear a thing of it here in the in the hullabaloo that's going on in this busy. Uh, Lewisham Concert Hall. But anyway, it's good time to say goodbye from all of us here at Catford. We hope you've enjoyed that title bout, retained, the title retained by Alan Dennison after the full distance. Have a good week. Till next week. <laughs>